some of you have asked if I could show you my roaster, um, kind of a typical batch cycle, and just how I made my roaster. Um, so I'm going to do that. As much as I would just love to have everything as perfect as possible, um, I don't. So I'm just going to kind of show you a quick little tour of the roaster, how it works, how I built it. Um, and if anybody has any questions, obviously just um, comment below and I'll give you as much info as I can. Here is the roaster. Um, hopefully it's not too bright. But I took a Pyrex glass bake around. And that's my roasting chamber. So this metal part is the is the top sifter or funnel. Let's see if I can move this part. I don't know how well that's going to focus, but that metal funnel is the top of a cocktail tumbler. Here's the other part of it, which works pretty well now as a little. Uh, dumping device for the green beans and below this is a series of tubes that have heating elements inside the tube so these wires coming out are they are high temperature wiring rated up to I think around 900 degrees um, and that's wired onto the, the heating element. And this is a high temperature silicone to seal up the holes. But this is a blower motor underneath that used to be a dog grooming hair dryer. Um, more than enough power to circulate the beans. All this will eventually be in, in a nice enclosure that I'm gonna build. Um, so all my controls down here and controls for the air will all be mounted up closer up here. And the only thing sticking out will be this, this chamber. Right now I have a, a wood clamp holding the chamber on. That's just kind of a precautionary because this will stay on, but, uh, that's going to be that's going to be changed in the future. I have this uh, wire ba this mesh basket that I dump the beans in. Turn on the fan, blows air out, cools the beans pretty quick in about a minute or two. Um, that a a again will be changed to where when this whole thing is in an enclosure, that. That wire, that mesh basket will be right up next to the roaster here. All right, so I'm gonna run you through a roast cycle and I'm gonna measure out 300 grams, 304 grams, close enough. All right, I'm going to turn the air on first. And I'm going to turn on the heat usually decreases the airflow just a little bit because there's a power loss. And we're going to let that go.
So typically, um, because I do not have a rheostat set up yet on my heat, right now I can't control the heat other than toggling one element on and off, um, which is what I'm doing right now. So typically what I do is I, I don't change the airflow too much. I pretty much leave the airflow constant and I will toggle one element off about every two minutes for about 20 seconds. Um, my heating elements go up to about 1500 degrees if there is no airflow so with the airflow it's right now it's really hard for me to judge what temperature it's at because i don't have any thermal couplers or um, anything like that so right now it's basically all by sight and by sound First yellow is right at about a minute 30, minute 45. So as mentioned before, um, about every two minutes I'll toggle the switch for about 20, maybe 30 seconds. Um, a big, big spot for me is when I start to hear first crack. Um, that's another time where I will toggle that switch. So I'm not sure how well you can hear that, but that was first crack right at about three minutes, three, three minutes, three and a half minutes probably. So that was first crack at about three and a half minutes.
we're coming up to five minutes, five and a half minutes right now. Um, a 300 gram roast of the Columbia has been around six and a half to seven and a half minutes. Just kind of varying on how often I turn off that co toggle and how much I cool down the ch chamber between roasts. So right at six minutes is when I started to hear second crack and that's when I turn off all the heat and just let it cool down for about 30 seconds or so before I dump on top of the fan. And there we go, that is a, that's an entire roast. As you can see, we got nice even color. That's kind of what I call a full city or a city plus roast. It's right in between kind of a solid medium and a dark roast. At least that's what I call it anyway. Leave it like that, it should should cool down in a minute or two. My ventilation system here is just some flexible ductwork with a inline there's an inline uh, vent fan kind of blowing all the air out. It works really really nice actually. So again there's the whole roaster. Which the next step will be to put it all in a, an enclosure. And one last thing about the power. Right now I have a 30 amp breaker in the basement. And it's all hooked up to this 10 gauge extension cord. Um, so the, the plan is my enclosure will have a outlet mounted on the back on the back on the outside and the only thing I'll have to do is plug in that extension cord to the enclosure so there it is hope you guys liked it